Hey yeah. You join me on Saturday the 6th of April. Uh, it's roughly 10 to 11. Uh, I'm just on my way into Castle Bar. They're holding a promoting Castle Bar day up on the mall there in the middle of Castle Bar. Uh, Ender Kenny, the tea shock's there giving a speech and apparently they're giving away lots of free stuff and whatever so not one to miss a freebie I thought I'd go down and have a quick look we've got the Garda station over there I don't know if they're protesters of some sort I don't know what they're at I'm waiting to see where all my free stuff is there's not going to be much by the looks of this. So this appears to be about it. Um, they're still waiting on Andy Kenny turning up. I don't know where he is. But there seems to be a good crowd building. As regards to freebies, I haven't even been offered a cup of tea. <laughs> Just about my luck. And even though the sun's out, it's cold. They've got all the uh, Irish down here, the TV stations. Give it about another 10 minutes and then uh, I think I might bugger off. So the man himself. Welcome to, uh, to the launch of Love Castle Bar. Uh, the initiative to make Ireland's uh, our Castle Bar Ireland's warmest welcome. And please put your hands together. A big welcome to yourselves and to the future of everything. This concept of community spirit, of town spirit, of urban spirit, of rural spirit, that people can stand up for themselves and say, let's do something that's different. And what's happening here is very different. Let's say you're down in Clannock Hinton. Are you in Wexford? Are you in Carrick and Shannon or Carrick and Shoe? Do you know anything about those towns? Do you know anything about, about their history, about the people who live there, about some of the important events in the, in the, in the, um, in the makeup of that town, some of the things that you should go and see. Same applies in Castle Bar here. There are a great number of people in this town who do not know the history of their own town, who do not know the relevance of the courthouse or the opinion or the manse or the, the resident building or the man itself here or the people who came from this town. And it's important that that should be known by people who live in the town, who understand that it becomes part of them and they become part of that history also, guys in Ballymena and everywhere else. The people would understand where it is they come from because a sense of place is very important in a world that's changing at a moving speed. So that's why I like to think that what Helen's done here with the ambassadors is an initiative that works both ways. First of all, it gives those ambassadors from the town here an understanding of where they come from and where they're now living and the history and the social structure of the town that they live in and the locality that they live in. But secondly, it gives for the visitors of here a really important and different kind of experience. Now you've all been away in different places all over the world on, 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 on many occasions, I'm sure. And one of the things that you remember from places that you visited, it's the people and the impression that they left with you. 
It's not just the sunshine or the sea or the cliff or the mountain. These things are physical and they apply all over the planet. But it's the difference that people make to you when they make you feel welcome, when they say, let me tell you about this town. Have you got three hours to pass and I'll show you what you can learn about us here. Take the Loch Lanham walk. I'll come with me on a little tour of Castle Bar. I'll show you the fundamental historic points of interest in our town. And that's something that everybody can benefit from. But the real trick is that when those people go back to their own towns, their own countries, or their own places, that they will talk about the experience that they had here. So I want to compliment you, Helen, for starters, and through you, everybody else. There's those retailers in the town here, 53 of them. When you produce your over 100. When you produce those, you produce those Love Castle Bar cards, you're going to get a 10% reduction on whatever it is that, that you buy there. Is a compliment to the retailers in the town who want to participate in this. And that's the way that it should be. That's the way that it should be. So, I like to think the places that, not that you have any time in this business to go sightseeing when you, when you go abroad on a political business, but if you have a few hours, it's always nice to know that there's somebody that you can call up or you can book an ambassador and say, look, I've got two and a half hours here. Can you show me the main points of your town? Tell me a little bit about it so that I can get an understanding of what it is that you that you about. And Helen, that's what's important about this. And you have struck a blow here that's different for Castle Bar, that's beneficial for everybody, that's of interest to the people of the town, to the commerce of the town, to the economy of the town, to the young people of the town. And I know that many of the volunteers uh, are young, ranging from from teenage years up to senior citizens, some of whom are here in front of us, who have great experience of what this town has been about for over all those years. And that's a challenge. So, that's all the excitement over and done with it here. Uh, had a quick chat with Andy Kenny there. Um, nothing much else really happening. Got my free business card. Um, and apparently there's free tea and coffee now down at the Linen Hall Street, which is over there. So I'm going to go down there and get a bowl of soup or something, because it is cold. So, as you can see, in the end, a fair few did turn up. So it's off down Moon Street now to go and get a cup of coffee. Mr. Bombastic, we want some bombastic, romantic, fantastic lover.